Welcome to SAT 3310, Scripting for Administration and Automation. Today we're going to be talking about PowerShell and working with files. So as a review, I want to talk a little bit about uh, some PowerShell data types. So these are just some examples of different strings in PowerShell. You can see we're setting a string, we're setting it to a hello world, and you can do interesting things with strings and uh, variables. You can set them to uh, characters, numbers. Uh, PowerShell just it will accept any of these as your variable. So you can do things like you can uh, manipulate those numbers and variables. Uh, you can set strings to be lists. Like you see here, I got one, two, three, four, five. Um, so it's, it's very forgiving when you're setting your variables. Uh, if you want to just display the variable, you can just say the variable name and it'll come out on the screen. Uh, you can also use the, the PowerShell uh, verb noun syntax. So in this example, we're saying uh, we want to write host and we're going to write host and you can do um, write host and then your variable name. Um, here's a with a write host and adding a no new line. So if you wanted to, to write something out in the display and not have it uh, add a new line. Get help is a great uh, tool in PowerShell. Uh, if you want more information on write host and all the options, you can in PowerShell say get help write host. And that'll give you lots of uh, good examples. Uh, again, here's just some more uh, setting some variables. So if I were to say my name equals and then Todd, uh, you could do things like write host, hello, my name. Um, you could use uh, uh, single quotes within the double quotes to actually get um, to, to display those single quotes. So again, PowerShell is, is very liberal in its, in its syntax. In PowerShell, uh, you're going to be using a lot of different types of arrays. So again, here's just an example of setting a, a PowerShell array. Uh, my array equals, and we've got some pets listed out there. And let's say you want to get a count of how many items are in that array. Uh, with PowerShell, you can just say array name dot count, and it will tell you uh, how many items are in that array. In this case, it would say three. If I said um, I want to add an item to that array, it's as simple as just saying my array and adding uh, the, the next name. You can set an empty array by just saying, um, using the, the at symbol in uh, parentheses. So I say, um, I'm going to set an empty array called animals and, and uh, get it ready for, for entering new data. Uh, in this example, uh, just remember that arrays start at item zero. So item one would be actually the second item in the list. Um, you can do things like you want to see everything in the array that's not equal to cat, which is a very powerful tool. You can also do the um, look for things that are like. So in this example, it's going to show all the items in the array that have um, the letter A in it. Different than arrays is this idea of a PowerShell hash. Uh, in other languages, it might be, say, like uh, a dictionary. Uh, again, a hash in PowerShell is a map of key and a value. So for using hashes, you'd use a curly brace. So recall that uh, an array has a parenthesis. Uh, in this example, I'm setting my hash equal to uh, emptiness, which but it's uh, going to be a hash and not an array, so I'm using the curly brace. You can do things where now you set your hash keys equal to values. So in this example, I've got um, a user ID and a phone number and another user ID and a phone number. Those user IDs are the keys and then the values are uh, the numbers. So I could then say my hash and it would list out everything or I can say my hash 
and give it a key. So my hash dot key, and it would return the value for that um, key value item pair. Uh, PowerShell get child item. Uh, so this is the um, child item of a location. Uh, child item is just the the uh, listing of items in a directory. So get child item would get say and list the the contents at the specified location. So if you wanted to get the content of uh, uh, a directory so you like all the files listed in a directory you'd say get content um, or I'm sorry <laughs> get child item of that directory if you want to get content uh, this is the content of the item so in in this example we're getting the content of a text file um, you could also say uh, populate an array with the content of a text file. So in this example, we're saying my array equals get get content of that um, absolute path name. Another really powerful uh, tool in PowerShell is the measure object. Uh, this is very similar to say like word count in, in Linux. So you can do measure object and get the number of characters, number of lines, number of words. If you just say measure object, it'll give you everything um, that it can get about that object. So you can do interesting things like get child item to use or to, to display the uh, files and folders in a directory. So you can say get child item and pipe measure object and it will tell you things like how many files are in that directory. You could also use uh, measure object to measure things inside a file, like the words, lines, and characters. So in this example, we're saying get content. So get the actual content of that file in the absolute path name, measure object, and I want the character, line, and word out of it. Uh, again, there's a shortcut to this. You could just say object.count and it will count the number of items in that object. To get random numbers on uh, PowerShell, you can just use get random. Uh, this will get a random number or select a random object from a uh, collection. So you can say get random and give me a maximum of 100. Uh, so to give a zero to 100. Or I could say get random uh, with the input object of my choosing and then just uh, actually provide the input object one two three five eight thirteen it will randomly select one of those objects listed one two three five eight thirteen uh, you can also say give it the object and pipe it to get random so if i have an array that's populated and i just want a random object out of that array you can just say array name pipe get random For each loop in PowerShell, this is very useful for when working with, um, say, files. You can do for each uh, get child item in a file path and do something with each uh, file listed. In this example, I'm doing a for each item in array, uh, write host to the item. So this is a, 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 a more complicated way of say just displaying each item in the array, but you can see the power of the for each is instead of just writing host item, I could do additional things to each item in the array. Like I could add it, I could subtract it, I could manipulate those individual items. Another loop that you can use is the while loop. So in this example, I'm saying x equals one, while x uh, is less than or equal to 100, and then you see I'm using the curly brace to start my block of code. Um, I'm displaying um, i, which is a, a separate variable, and then I'm incrementing i. So those are just a couple examples of both for each and while, um, as well as other useful tools that you can use with PowerShell when working with files.